to episode 2 of Cooking with Chef Aaron. Today, we are going to be making a dish from Iraq. Now, Iraq, in my opinion, is a very nice country. It is, loca it is located in the Middle East and it borders uh, Syria to the east and Iran to the west. And um, the recipe we're going to be making today is Iraqi meat stuffed mashed potatoes. And here are all the ingredients right here. Now, these ingredients are for the uh, filling. And here we have um, two and a half pounds of ground beef, one tablespoon of uh, vegetable oil, some nice chopped onion, we have some salt, we have some allspice, and we have some parsley. Now that is for the filling. And now here, these are the ingredients that we have for our potatoes. So we have four tablespoons of milk, tablespoon of uh, flour, and um, we have um, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and we have some potatoes that were uh, boiled and peeled um, before. And, and this is a masher we are going to use to mash the potatoes. And we are going to get started right now. Okay, so now we are going to put in the ingredients for our potatoes. As you can see, I over, I've already mashed them. Don't they look nice? So we're going to begin by putting in four tablespoons of milk. That looks great. One and a half teaspoons of our salt. And uh, two tablespoons of our flour. Now I'm just going to mix this all up. Like this. And doesn't that look good? Okay. So now that we've done our potatoes, we're going to start our meat filling now. So we're going to start by taking one tablespoon of vegetable oil, and we're just going to pour it in like this. Now I'm just going to grab a little spoon, spatula, and I'll just stir it around like that for a while. Doesn't that look good? Now I'm going to take our meat, and I'm just simply going to pour it in here. And we're just going to let this brown. And once this browns, we're going to add all the ing other ingredients. Okay, so now once you've made, cooked your uh, beef, it should look something like this. Make sure that you drain all the fat out so that you, you have a uh, nice meat. So, okay, so our next step is to add the other ingredients for our filling. And they are as follows. We have some onion that's been chopped to a small dice. And we have one and a half teaspoons of salt. And we have one teaspoon of allspice. And we have one cup of chopped parsley. Doesn't that look like a great mixture? Now I'm going to take my spatula and I'm just going to mix this all around. And, and soon we'll be ready to um, put this inside of our potatoes. Okay, so now it's time to um, make our filling and put it into our potatoes. To our filling and our potatoes. So actually, as you can see, I have a little ball right here. Now keep in mind if your potatoes are too mushy, if you find your potatoes are too mushy, you can always add a little bit more flour until you find that it's nice enough to make a ball. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take like a spoon of our meat filling, pour it onto here like this. I'm just going to take some more potato and kind of stick it all on here. Got to mush it all together like this. And this should be good. Maybe a little bit more. And we're going to place it inside our pan, like that. And doesn't that look yummy? Okay, so what we did here is we add half an inch of vegetable oil, and as you can see, we have six balls of Iraqi meat stuffed mashed potatoes. We're just going to let these heat up for a bit. We're going to heat them on both sides, and they should be ready to eat. All right, so here are our potato mixtures cooking in the oil. 
For future reference, uh, we would probably suggest uh, maybe adding a little bit more flour just so the potatoes aren't too mushy. So as you can see, our potatoes are now um, looking a, lo a little brown now. You can see that they're looking brown because we've cooked them on for a while. Okay, and we are finished. This is our finished product. Doesn't that look great? So now I'm going to do a taste test and see what I think of it. Okay, as you can see here, this looks good. Let's try it. It tastes great.